I don't know how to save that. Ugh. everybody, it's your girl Jay and today I am here with a book haul of 12 books that I have recently been sent by publishers except one I bought myself. So I thought that I would share them with you before I put them onto my shelves. So without further ado, let us get started. The first book that I have is Ghost Book by Remy Lai. I got sent this by Macmillan so thank you so much to Macmillan but this is a contemporary graphic novel that is about a young girl who befriends a boy who is stuck in between the ghost world and the real world. It's kind of their adventures. It's based off of Chinese mythology, which I think is really cool. Very excited to jump into this graphic novel. It also doesn't have that much writing on each page, so I think that I can bang through this really quickly, but I do really like how bright and colorful the panels are. This is also a middle grade graphic novel, so I should be able to fly through it pretty quickly, so this will definitely be on my August wrap-up, so stay tuned for my thoughts. But again, thank you so much to Macmillan for sending this my way. I'm very excited to pick it up. The next book that I have is the one that I actually bought myself and it was only a dollar at Crazy Bins which is basically like an Amazon liquidation place that we have in my town but it is Pretty and Reckless by Charity Farrell and the only reason I bought this was because the back makes it sound like Midnight Rain by Taylor Swift and if you're new to this channel then you don't know this but I have an obsession with Taylor Swift like she is my life. It's basically a forbidden love kind of thing, but I'm just gonna read you the back so that you get the gist of why I'm thinking Midnight Rain. It says, I was 17 the first time we met. We were in two different worlds. He was building direction in his life. I was spitting fire down my path. He was the good guy who helped other people. I was the tainted girl who destroyed them. He was harmony on a warm beach day. I was the hurricane that erupted through. He tried to help me. I tried to ruin him. Uh, Midnight Rain. Am I right, ladies? Yes, I am. But that was literally the only reason I bought this. I'm pretty sure it's not going to be the best book. Next but. up, I have The Counselors by Jessica Goodman. This is a summer camp novel, which I'm hoping to get to very soon because it is currently August, which hello, peak summer. But it basically follows three best friends who go to this summer camp as counselors and they have some secrets that lead to a dead body found in the lake. And that's all I'm going to say. But we love ourselves some thrillers on this channel. And I just got this on audiobook and by the time you see this video, I'm currently in Florida, so I am hopefully have already read this on the plane. Next up, Simon & Schuster sent me Curious Ties by Pascal Lachelle, and this sounds so cool. It's a very big chonker of a book, but it is a fantasy. It's also by a French-Canadian author from Ottawa, which is like six or seven hours away from where I live, but we always support Canadian authors on this channel because we have to support our people. But it follows a girl named Emery who has healing abilities. She attends an academy. She is not the best healer. She is mediocre at best. But then they go on this like field trip to a cave and her entire class dies and she suddenly has all of these powers. She enlists the help of the school's most reclusive student named Baz to help harness these new powers. But then she thought all of her classmates were dead. No, they wash up on shore alive. But then they all mysteriously die one by one and it's her like seeking answers to why this is happening. I think it sounds so good. I'm definitely intrigued but I don't know when I will get to it because like I said, she a chonker. But Next up not. I have Gone Tonight by Sarah Pekinen and this one is a thriller. It always is with Sarah Pekinen. But it's a mother-daughter thriller so it's about a mother who has spent her entire life trying to protect her daughter but she's hiding this huge secret and then I guess the secret is unveiled and she has to protect her daughter even more. I'm intrigued. I want to know what the secret is. I hope she like killed the dad or something. We love murder on this channel, so I'm excited. Next up, we have The Falling by Anna Todd. This is typical Anna Todd fashion. It's a romance. It's probably going to be very angsty. I believe that it follows a woman who falls in love with a soldier that did two tours in Afghanistan. So he's a little bit troubled, but she believes that she can fix him. Is that going to happen? Probably not. I'm sure a lot of drama is going to ensue. But this is her new series after the after series, which I have not read yet, but I do own the first like two books, but I haven't picked them up. So maybe we'll pick up this before we pick up after. I don't know. Next up, I have two Martha Wells books. The first is City of Bones. I believe this is like her first novel before Murderbot, which is what made her very popular. But this is the updated and revised edition, which is apparently the edition that she wants everybody to read. It takes place in a town of like death and decay, which sounds right up my alley. 
And then the other Martha Wells books they sent me was Witch King. This is her newest novel. This one I think sounds really good. It's basically this like mage tries to harness the powers of a demon, but the demon is like, yo, chill out. We're not doing that. I think the demon eventually reluctantly agrees, but then they want answers to why they were trapped in the first place. And it's like the story of trying to figure out those answers, but he's not going to like the answers. I think it sounds really cool. We love a demon book. Hopefully I enjoy this one. Next up, I have Camp Damacus by Chuck Tingle. This is like a thriller horror about a summer camp or a camp that does conversion therapy but the way that they cure you is very questionable which I mean conversion camp is very questionable so duh but it does say it's a genuinely terrifying nightmare so I'm excited it's also very short and I do have it on audiobook from my library so hopefully this gets done soon Next up is The Third Daughter by Adrienne Tooley, and this one is about a, like, prophecy about a third daughter being born to the third daughter, and it ends up being the, like, royal family, and the eldest daughter is very upset when the third daughter is born because that means that the crown is no longer hers, so she's a little bit pissed off, so she decides to go to the market and hire a witch to give her a potion to basically, like, eliminate her sister. Uh, things don't go as planned, and the daughter gets put into a deep sleep, and she thinks that she's gonna get the crown now, but it goes to the state, and, uh, they do some questionable things with their ruling power, so now she's like, ooh, shit, I need to team up with this person. I think it's the witch? Not really sure. But they need to wake the sister up so that things stop happening with the crown but then the sister and this witch fall in love so <laughs> I'm here for it I'm excited next up is the sunset crowd this is by Karen Tanaby and it's about a girl who like infiltrates the famous people and like makes herself famous basically but she's come from a very questionable past and I don't know if she's like poor or if she just like made bad decisions I don't know but uh, she's gonna She's gonna become beautiful in Hollywood. It also takes place in the 1970s. I'm excited. It kind of gives me like Daisy Jones vibes, but not a band, just like a famous starlet, you know? And then the final book that I was sent was Michael Morrook's The Woods of Arcady. This is the second book in the Sanctuary of the White Friars series. I actually own the first book called The Whispering Swarm. So now I have both of them, which is exciting because now I can read both of them. I believe I have not hauled the first one, like that video is not up yet because I haven't edited it yet, but it's fine. You're gonna see this out of order because I have to get this video up for the ghost book. So can I tell you what this book is about without spoiling the first book? No, but it's basically like a kind of autobiography but like fantasy at the same time. He like inserts himself into this magical world. So it's him, like Michael, but like not Michael. You know what I mean? It's intriguing and I'm I'm very confused but the other book is also this size so it's it's like 600 pages so it's a big book but we'll get to it eventually. Alright everybody so those were the books that some publishers have recently sent to me so thank you so much to all the publishers that have sent books my way I very much appreciate it I'm very excited to read them all. Let me know down below if you have read any of these books and what you thought of them and I'll see you all in my next video. Goodbye!